you right everyone it's Ace here from Team RCC so as you can see we have a Pelican case in front of us which can mean only one thing a high end build so let's uh, have a look what we've got hiding take the camera up now this build is called the Maldives Raptor I fancied doing something a little bit summery and the Maldives is somewhere I've always wanted to go so I thought I'd try and try and get it into a build uh, lightly get it into a build so let's get it out and have a look right now we'll talk about the back first which is well it's the skeleton of the frame the strength of it we've got quarter inch blue G10 we have solid brass pins, uh, brass lined carbon fibre and on the front we have the same G10 for the fork tips but I had to resize it because this material was a different thickness and this is a special resin glow now this isn't your moon glow and all that stuff this is proper created resin from a friend of mine in San Francisco who makes well I'd say the most beautiful resins and hybrids going used these stuff many times before now you can see we've got two different bolt attachments here that's just for the purpose of basically telling you that about them um, I put them on there the recent zap Raptor now we've got the method I prefer to look at titanium bolts bolts each side and then this quicker method as you can see we've got blue shells around there and countersunk Rivnuts painted black. I'd like to have painted them blue, but the blue paint that I bought wouldn't take to them. So, black matches in with the black from the carbon fibre and obviously the black on the bolts outside. We've got orange fibre optics on it. Now, this is very summery feeling. Now, this is the way I look at it. We've got the blue here for the blue skies at the Maldives. And knowing me, if I went, it would probably rain. This side we've got the resin, which is it's a blue off green, which I think is more like an ocean colour, and it glimmers a little bit like the ocean as well. And then we've got lots of inlays, 20 inlays in total, which were a bit of pain in the ass to do, to be honest with you, because the holes, the inlays wouldn't fit in the holes, I had to resize the holes, but I managed to do it with no glue lines, so uh, I was really proud of myself, and uh, accidents can happen when you're hand building. Things don't always go to plan. This has. Now... All these little inlays are to represent the bioluminescent plankton that can often be seen in the Maldives and other parts of the world. So these all glow. Now, I'm going to include some glow pictures of this at the end of the video. <laughs> Trust me, it glows. It's like a torch. But it does look something special. It's something different. Like I said, it's got a really nice summer vibe to it. It's bright. It makes me want to get on a plane and go away, which I am next Friday to Ireland, though, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not saying Ireland's not a nice place. It's a beautiful place, and I've got some great friends there. But the weather isn't there like it is with places like the Maldives. So I hope you all enjoy this one. I know it might not be for everyone, but it's for me. I like it. And I'm sure the customer will. Also, the liner down the middle. That's the one thing I forgot. The liner down the middle is a sand colour. That represents the sand. So we've got the sky, the sand, the sea. And then we've got the bioluminescent plankton in there as well. Like I said, loosely based on the Maldives. Matching bead. Everything all in the box. There's space in here for band sets. So, uh, yeah. Hope you all like that one. I do. All fits snug in its home. And away you go for business. Hope everyone has a nice afternoon. Ciao for now.